little cool and overcast this morning because we had a thunderstorm around 7 a.m. And so we're starting off the day in this more open habitat that's dried up a little bit and will warm up faster. Searching for Jameson's mambas, forest cobras, maybe gaboon vipers, and uh, hoping the sun comes out a little bit more later and we'll be able to move into some more forested areas to search for more vipers. Jameson's Mamba. He's in shed, but still, it's a Mamba. All right, guys, so what we have here is a Jameson's Mamba. This is an elapid, it's related to cobras, and it is a arboreal snake, loves being up in the trees, and unfortunately it's in shed. Normally they're more of a vibrant green color, but still an awesome snake to see nonetheless. This snake has a potent neurotoxic venom and is quite eager to defend itself, so you have to be very, very careful around these snakes. But what an amazing opportunity to see one in the wild. successful morning finding the Jameson's Mamba. We're now heading into another patch of forest to continue our search for vipers. see him now but there's monkeys playing over there that's pretty awesome just about to enter the forest so we're just about to come into this forest here looking for vipers but unfortunately this forest has started to be clear-cutted and the whole forest patch may eventually be gone it's really sad but it's a good example of the kind of conservation issues that are happening all the time here in Central Africa. So here we are in the forest. Check out this habitat. It's nice, dense, mostly closed canopy rainforest. Lots of these vines all around for bush vipers to hide on. Checking around the bases of trees. And upward the hill we go. Guys, this is the rough scaled bush viper. We just found this snake sitting about nine feet up on a tree and he was basking trying to warm up 
from all of the rain and cold that we had this morning. And this is such an amazing snake, not only in the way that it looks with those really rough scales, but also because of their interesting habit of feeding on snails, which is really interesting for a viper. And uh, wow, this is such an incredible snake. This was one of our top targets for the trip to Uganda, and we are so excited that we have the opportunity to see this snake. Just look at that thing. That was amazing. Seeing such a cool first viper of our trip, being one of the coolest vipers really in the whole world, was just incredible. So tonight we are going to come back to this forest behind me, where we got the rough scale, and we are going to hike it and shine for more bush vipers, and maybe, if we're successful, some rhinoceros and gaboon vipers. So I'll check back in when we're back for the night. This is a little female blue-headed tree agama, I believe it's called. We found the male uh, the first day we were here. I was able to get some photos of it, but this is the female, I believe. Still really pretty, blue stripe down the back, little bits of green, pretty lizard. It very much wants to bite me. So we're gonna let, it, let her go. made it to the rainforest for our night hike and lo and behold it started raining but thankfully it seemed to be short-lived and it's slowing down a lot and hopefully it won't impede our search too much tonight so again same uh, drill as last night basically just shining around on the forest floor and the bases of tree trunks for rhinoceros vipers and gaboon vipers, and then up here in the vines again, perhaps for more uh, bush vipers. And it's not quite as dense in here as it was last night. We're in a different uh, section of forest tonight, but it's still pretty dense, and there's a lot of spots to check. So I'm gonna leave it off and keep looking.
So we were just hiking along here in the rainforest and I saw some movement way up in the branches and uh, thought it was a little viper at first, but it turns out to be what I believe is a montane egg-eating snake. Very beautiful orange specimen. I'll have to get some shots of it later. But uh, it looks like it may have swallowed an egg or something as well. So pretty excited to find a snake. This is our first snake of the night and hopefully won't be the last.